45. Hey, check it out. This is Eminem, and the streets is watching. The affiliates have taken over the wheel. Right here on the streets is watching on Shade 45. Atlanta's only hip hop station, Howard 079. Um, I told you, man, big night, big money, big things. Um, one place, one time, we here. I got a, I got the hustle gang with me. Something, yeah. something new. Yeah. I got my man with me. All um, right. I, I, so, are you the, uh, the leader, the founder, or the um, CEO of the hustle gang? Man, you know, not only am I, not only am I the founder, I'm also a. Uh, a, a strong participant. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like but, the hair club. Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> absolutely. You know. Tip, what up, Tip? Hey, man, I'm cool, baby. What the deal? We in this bitch, man. We in here for sure. Already. Um, welcome. And uh, matter of fact, you know, let's let's introduce the hustle game first and foremost, as as we are in the building. All right, all right. Well, you know what I'm saying. Uh, first of all, let me let me try and give y'all a brief description of what the hustle gang is. Okay. The hustle gang is the new grand hustle. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. And this is in no way any disrespect or discredit to the previous uh, or the 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 classic the classical grand hustle. You know what I'm saying. That's that's vintage. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that they ain't gonna never go out of style. And they might ever tell you how to weigh with words, man. I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? They pay me to do things with, with my vocabulary, you know? So, uh, this right here, man, you know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a new movement. This is a new movement, and, and, and we about we buy getting money and, sh and showing off, you know? And, and I got the people with me who I feel is the most appropriate to represent what we represent right now. Mm -hmm. And... This will consist of, but not only, but not only, uh, not only qualified to say, it's Iggy Azalea. This is D.O.P.E. Dope. This is my homeboy Chip. Uh, now Dope is a group that consists of three members: Young Boot, Spotty, and Rich Kid Shaw. Mm -hmm. Hustle. When you, when you thought of the concept of the Hustle Gang or, or or the decision to to move forward, was. It based upon a time of, you know, now in hip hop, it seems like it's back to, to crews and, you know, you have good music, you have YMCMB, you have uh, MMG and, and and so forth. And, you know, put yourself in a position of, of, of um, you know, all the success with yourself and other artists and as yeah. well as, you know, bringing a whole new movement forward. I mean, um, I can't say that, I can't say that that did not weigh in on my desire. However, it was not my only determining factor. I just feel like to be uh, of the upper echelon in the, I guess, you know, in the young young hip hop moguls, it's just, you know, certain things you got to check off your list. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? This is one of them. I'm ready to sit back, honestly, man. You mm -hmm. know, I'm ready to have somebody <clears throat> else, you know what I'm saying, hold the mic, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm looking to... I'm looking for my moment to ride off into the sunset, man. So I want somebody else to get this shine. You know what I'm saying? I've had so much shine, man. I'm talking about, man, I'm all shined out, champ. So we should be prepared for a, a, a retirement. After. See, listen, see, that's so final. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> retirement is so final, man. That, I, I won't, I, I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say, man, you know, I'm going to be able to, once I have someone else in the, in the crew, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, on the team or other, uh, 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 or should I say, several other members of the team that are able to, you know, hold 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 the hustle up high, then you know what I'm saying. I'll be able to focus my attention in other areas of my expertise that are far, well, either as lucrative or far more lucrative, mm -hmm. as in fashion, as in film, as mm -hmm. in television, as in you know all other types of things, <coughs> man. So I'm really looking to find some people, man, who. And, and to be a member of Hustle Gang, you know what I'm saying, it ain't... My requirements are these two things. Okay. One, you have to have your own shine. You mm -hmm. got to be able to stand on your own, too, and you got to be able to stand next to me without being swallowed by Coming me. into the equation or... Coming once. into the equation, already pre-existing okay. in the equation. You okay. got to be able to coexist with the, the, the monstrosity of a superstar. Mm-hmm. 
and and be able to withstand all this attention that comes with standing next to T.I. Now, after you're able to do that, you got to be able to outwork and outperform T.I. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have those two qualities, then you on your way. You know what I'm saying? You on your way. I see you went across the water. Um, a couple times. For for an artist. A couple times. That's a part of the hustle gang. Yeah. Um, Chip, what up, man? What's good? What's cracking? I'm glad you did. Uh, everything's good. Now, um, for everybody listening, man, um, if, if he hasn't talked enough yet, <laughs> you will hear the accent. Um, yeah. I, I met the gent at the All-Star game, um, and clearly off top, you know, there was a lot of swag there, there was a, there was a, there was a lot of personality, and then I, I found out, even without knowing, that um, you're already a platinum selling artist. Yeah. Yeah, talk, talk, talk about that. Um, yeah, I'm from, I'm, my name is Chip, you know, okay. formerly known as Chip Monk. I'm a, a platinum artist back home in the UK, you know, and it, it came to a point where I would say we kind of hit. If gloss was visual, like a visual gloss even on how far we felt I had come as an urban artist in the UK. Man, talk that talk, man. Tell them how many, <laughs> how many number ones you got over there, I've man. Had a, I've had a few number ones, you know, a few top fives, top tens. How long you been cashing checks, man? How long you been cashing checks, man? You know, tell I, I would say, I, you know, I, I'm 21 now. I started okay. music when I was about 15. I kind of take... Uh a, a more humble approach. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you know. But you know, if it's it's fair to say if if bragging rights was something that, you know, I came to be flamboyant and execute, I, I do have some on my belt. Yeah, the know? phone lines <laughs> is going crazy, man. I got the hustle gang in here. Dope yeah. is here, chip is here. Dope. Iggy is here, tip is here. Um are, are any films in, in the works? Well, <clears throat> You know that's a that's a, that's 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 that's, the, that's a definite possibility. Yeah. But ain't nothing that I can speak on okay. right now. Um, let me see. I heard a rumor that um, Tower Heights was, was <coughs> your movie. Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, I, I became uh, somewhat unavailable <laughs> during, <laughs> during, for the latter part of the shooting schedule. So, you know, they had to go a different direction. Okay. But you know, I understand that. I understand that. Uh, but right now, um, I have the best thing I could tell you. Is let me just say that there's a very huge blockbuster of a remake that is being made. A classic. Total Recall? Mm mm. Okay. Mm mm. It ain't even hit the press yet. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's right. completely behind the scene. Okay. You know, inside trade. All right. I, I Don't tell nobody. Okay. <laughs> what you say? Doug, just whispering. Yeah, yeah. But look, I ain't gonna tell you what it is. But look, though, it's a remake, man, of a phenomenal movie, and it, and the original star, the phenomenal lead and lady, and uh, they're remaking that movie, mm -hmm. and they're looking for me to star in that. Okay. Alongside another phenomenal lead and lady. Congratulations. And uh, it's still early in the preliminary discussions, but you know what I'm saying they're looking to move fast on it. Okay. And there's another. Another uh, high-powered blockbuster franchise of a comic book nature that they are uh, looking. You gonna, you gonna put a cable on? Nah, you gonna put no cable on, champ. You gonna put no cable on. Nah, this is a cool comic book movie, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna tell you what Marvel, that is. Marvel, DC. Uh, I think it's DC, ain't it? Is it DC? You thinking it's DC? I think it's DC, man. Dollar D. He, excuse me, Dollar DP. Don't yeah, want VP to DP no, in the building. He, he don't want to share no information. Yeah, I man, I think it's DC. I think, yeah, it's definitely DC. Okay. Because um, Marvel's, like, Marvel's X Men and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah so it's DC. It's All right. DC. Um, your ratings for your TV show are phenomenal. Appreciate uh, that. Great season. Family hustle. Great look. Thank you. You know, the, the, the kids look like superstars and becoming boy, a, I'm it sure it's becoming and boy, a monster do they know it. In themselves. <laughs> Woman ever. How does that feel? Don't forget. It feels great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really and the happy. first Australian, I presume. And the first Australian. <laughs> wow. Um, so Iggy, mm -hmm. um, you've been grinding for quite some time. I've done a little research. Um, I've I know that you. This is not your first time being in Atlanta. You know. No. You you lived here at one point. I lived point. here. Yeah. Okay. At, at what time? Uh, what I lived here 2009 and 2010. Okay. I was out here. And also, um, you spent some time in Houston. Yeah, I lived in Houston 2008, and I lived in Miami 2007. And from Australia, that was your first place you went to? Yeah. And um, you began rapping at when? When I was 14. Mm -hmm. I used to try to rap in Australia. Okay. That's where it's also what do you mean you used to, I mean, try, well, like, you don't feel like it? 
It was very questionable. <laughs> my rap skills yeah. back then. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they, they I used to try. Them. Now I am rapping. I don't know. You could say it was a hobby. Okay. Right? Okay. And now and I'm doing. Um. At what point did you feel like you wanted to take it seriously? From the first thing I ever wrote. Okay. I like to do things wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I went to a, a cipher. I got booed, and I was like, "Man." In Australia. This yes. sucks. And, and what? No, I wasn't like this sucks. <laughs> Actually, I was like, "Fuck them! They don't know what they're missing." I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna kill this shit, and I kept coming back <laughs> for years and years and years. Not to the same spot, but I kept trying uh -huh. until I got better. And now I'm achieving. Okay. I didn't give up. <laughs> um, what made you first want to go to Miami when you came to the States? Um, I had a friend in Australia who had some family out there. And that was the only city where I really knew anybody who knew anybody. Mm -hmm. So I chose Miami. Also, there is an auto engineering school down there. Mm -hmm. And um, it is... The headquarters are in Australia, in a town right by my town, and I wanted to try to get my GED and maybe go to this auto audio engineering school so that I could learn how to engineer myself because I didn't have any money to be in studios and nobody would let me in because mm -hmm. I sucked. So I, I thought to myself, let me go to Miami where I know somebody and let me try to go to this school. School was too fucking expensive, and I didn't get my GED either. It took me like two years that. to get it. I did get it though, but by the time I got it, I was on some. I got mine in prison. Where'd you get yours? Uh, um, just around. <laughs> yeah. I got in, it in, in, in an alley. Just in, just found it. Is there, <laughs> okay. is there a rap scene in Australia uh, locally? Like, uh, some would argue yes, and some would argue no. Okay. Depends who you ask. At, at this point, you're my <laughs> only expert, so I, uh, your opinion is on. I'll have to go off. Um, I. I think it depends what kind of uh, rapper you are mm -hmm. and what you're trying to do as to whether you can feel that you can prosper in Australia or not. And there is definitely, like Chip said about England, there's a glass ceiling in Australia too when it comes to that kind of thing. And unfortunately, I think that it's a little bit lower because it's not, hip hop isn't that popular compared mm -hmm. to other styles of music. And I wanted to be up there with everybody that I saw on TV or in the videos on MTV. I wanted to be that caliber and I didn't see that caliber of artist in my own country and I thought, well shit, <laughs> let me go be over with those motherfuckers. <laughs> I talked to Travis Porter, they said you used to be in the studio, you were really quiet. <laughs> yeah, because you know what, I didn't feel that it was my place to talk. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm a loud person, everybody yeah. here will tell you. I don't know, I don't, I don't know how to be quiet. But, you know, I am loud when I feel that I have something to back it up and that is a time when a time. I didn't have the content and I'm not going to sit in a studio and tell you all about me mm -hmm. or how great I am and have not a goddamn thing to back shit up with so yes I was quiet I was observing and mm -hmm. taking notes and, and she is definitely taking advantage of her ability to curse on the radio right now I am I'm sorry I'm Australian <laughs> it's okay I'm sorry. no it's okay if we need to edit listen we'll edit. I'm you will edit that do it. Iggy Azalea is here. Y'all know what it is. Gangsta Girl Radio is hot on 7 Nine. Stay with us. What, yeah. um, what brought you and Iggy Azalea together? Well, see, this is the thing. <laughs> what? There's speculation on what brought you <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It is, you know, you know it, it is still in the air. The jury's out on whether or not I called her mm -hmm. and begged her for her involvement or whether she called and begged <laughs> me to be involved in her project. So, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 depending on who you ask. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you first. So who are you going to ask? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, well, we have this two microphones here, so well, you know, listen, we'll get one side and then get the other. This is what happened. And maybe the truth will come this out. This is what happened. My phone rang and it rang and rang and rang and rang and rang some more. And I looked at it, and it was a number it had. You know how you get that number on your phone? It got like with the plus and like the fifteen ones numbers and on. The, uh, I'm like, what is this? So I didn't answer it because I thought it was some people that I might not need to talk to. <laughs> so you know, anybody kept ringing and ringing and ringing. So I picked it up and I say, hello. And he say, hello. And I say, what's up? Who is this? And she say, it's Iggy. Iggy. What's up? <laughs> it would mean so much to me if you would just please just assist me in my efforts to dominate the world today. <laughs> oh, really? That's your story? <laughs> Let me tell you the real story. Go ahead. Okay. So, 
obviously I'd gotten a new phone, which nobody even has my number. I'm much more exclusive and rare. So <laughs> somebody just kept calling my people, begging and begging. And I was like, ugh, tip, just go away. If I meet with you one time, you leave me alone. <laughs> and I went and he was like, Iggy, you truly are the greatest, most talented, prettiest, funniest girl I, I know in this universe. Please. Will you let me be in your video? And I was like, yeah, I'll do you one better. We can just work together because I don't even want to play you like that. Yeah, you know what? And somewhere in the middle. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> somewhere in the There's middle. three sides to every story. Yeah, well, somewhere in the middle, you'll find the truth. Um, Iggy, you signed to Interscope Records. Mm -hmm. um, Jimmy Iovine. Yeah. Personally, I, I've, I've been told, you know, you play basketball with him. I, I've seen a p picture you tweeted with floor seats of the Lakers game. I'm sure he's a member he of the floor seat club. He is definitely a member of the floor seat club. Feet ain't on the wood, tickets no good. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> why Interscope yeah. Records? Uh, you know what? I've had some kind of affiliation with them for some time, just writing, writing for other people mm -hmm. and doing demos. Anybody and I, we should know or nobody that you need to know okay but you know i've grown to know just them and their and their staff and to have more so than any other relation label a relationship with them and, yeah. and a friendship before they ever approach me as mm -hmm. an artist i spoke with a lot of other labels and def jam was a possibility definitely yeah. i love everybody over at def jam but at the end of the day i just felt that i had a stronger relationship with interscope and we just kind of had more uh, time under the belt, I mm -hmm. guess you could say. So I went with who I felt was the, I don't want to say the safer choice, but it's a, it's kind of as a marriage and we just, have been dating for the longest. Mm -hmm. Just a proper I mean? fit. Yeah, it was just a good fit and uh, I love everybody over there. I see him every week for the last two years, so it just felt right. Um, did, did you, coming from Australia and coming here, did, did you expect to be where you are at this point, you know, or did you see yourself doing it faster, slower? Uh, you know what, and I think everybody can probably attest to this when you're trying to really reach your goal, you always think that you have just this next little step, just this next little bit, if I can make it through this, then I'll be on. Mm -hmm. And I've been saying that since I was 14, I always thought, uh, six months from now, if I can just hold on another few months, hold on, and it would never seemed to happen till I got to the point where I thought, am I one of these crazy people and it will never happen? Am I auditioning on American Idol and I can't sing? And then she met me. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, trying to joking, get in on joking, my story joking. again. What, um, you called for my video. What, what, what song do you think really, would you say, caught? It was Pussy, for okay. sure. You know, nobody gave a fuck about me. Sorry, can well, I say that on the Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's play that real quick, man. <laughs> How was it shooting the uh, freshman cover? Double it XL. was really cool, actually. You know, I had a really good time meeting everybody else there. Yeah. And some artists I knew, some I didn't. Mm -hmm. Some people I thought would be on the cover one. Smart. Like who? Who did I think would be on the cover that wasn't? I thought Two Chains would be on the cover. Mm -hmm. I thought it's not exactly a freshman, though. You, well, you know what? As a solo artist. <laughs> I thought a, about that myself, as too. As a solo artist. But, you know, he's... Got a couple it's hit records under his My belt. pusher told me that they... Pusher as a solo was, artist would be a freshman. Well, he could have been a freshman. Oh, no. Uh, Roscoe's on there. He's, he's yeah. a veteran. Roscoe's had... Hey, I thought Defo being out of school, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think it's... I don't know if I was saying it. But, but, but what defines it is subjective. And really, it it's just them offering you the platform. And if you would like to respectfully take it, then you can if you... Don't want to because some people have turned it down. You, you don't, um, and I think a lot of people forget that and give XXL such a hard time about who's made it, makes it, and who doesn't. You don't know who's been offered and who hasn't, who's declined. And um, was I mean, when when the, the opportunity came, was it a conversation or was it a quick? It was never a conversation. It was just a yes. I I'm only on that cover because I was the people's choice, and okay. I got voted into it. Everybody else got told the month before. I didn't find out until. About two weeks before in January, mm -hmm. I had counted all the votes, and thankfully people want to see a woman on there. Yep. Otherwise, I rightfully so. I wouldn't be on it. So. Um, and the day the cover came out, there was some controversy because another sure. female, 
um, Azalea Banks, um, quickly jumped out of the window on Twitter and, <laughs> and said that she was uh, not basically not happy with you being on a double XL cover. Well, um, well, let me ask you, well, before you, before you continue on, let me, if I may ask a question. Please. Uh, and anyone out there who's listening to me, feel free to answer. I'm sure you know what I'm saying. You have, uh, phone lines are open. Phone lines are open as well as online access. Was she not happy with her being on there, or was she not happy with her with not being on there? Was she unhappy with Iggy being on there, or was Azalea Banks unhappy because she was not on there? I think that's a fair question for Azalea Banks. You know, uh, because if I am someone and I'm moving and shaking and doing my thing, mm -hmm. uh, I don't care what's going on outside of my circle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I, my circle is being successful. Who is it? I, hey, nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> question mark. Question mark. Question, question mark. Question, question mark. You know I just what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be. I don't know neither. I can't tell you. I'm <laughs> just repeating the name because he yeah. sees. She has, a, she has a record called 212. It's got, about, it's got about 4 million views on YouTube. Word. It's, it's a good record. What kind of deal she got? Who she with? I never heard that. Um, as far as my knowledge, uh -huh. she has a deal it's with the Universal. The well, this is a Universal UK. Okay. That's the only. That's this, the only thing. This is my. I wish I had the absolute best. Right, but However, this is my day, yeah. and it's my achievement. Sure. Okay. So you have to work to have your own achievements with all due respect. So instead of worrying about who else is on there, you should just be happy that I'm on there as a woman mm -hmm. sure. for women. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have an achievement, work and earn your own achievements. I can't take what's meant for you, mm -hmm. and you can't take what's meant for me. Mm -hmm. And strategically, and strategically, if she really cares about a freshman cover, maybe she could hope that you know she'll suck enough to get shelved, and then next year mm -hmm. when the freshman cover comes back around, maybe she'll still be a freshman. Well, I think that pretty much <laughs> sums that up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which brings me to my next philosophy. If you spend half of your day getting money mm -hmm. and the other half of your day counting money, you ain't got no time in your day to worry about nobody else. <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. Get do or die, G D O D Hustle Gang, nigga. Hustle Gang. Um Hustle Gang album possibly. Mm -hmm. Surely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and we can't leave out, you know, it's other members of the Hustle Gang, too, that are not present here. We also have uh, Trey the Truth. Yeah. Okay, shout out to Trey. Yeah, yeah. Trey the Truth, yeah. out of ABN, you know yeah. what I'm saying, doing big things and some more things. Uh, which, which, who's, man, I got an enormous amount of respect for Trey because he's overcame all odds, you know what I'm saying? Well, he's definitely. faced adversity of... Superior kind. Oh, Superior kind. Okay. I'm talking about <laughs> of a corporate nature and of a you know of a criminal nature and still, you know what I'm saying? And still he thrives. So you got to salute that. Anybody can do everything right and still remain on top. Mm -hmm. But you got to say something about the person who faces adversity, takes a hit, bounces back, brushes himself off, picks up the pieces and continues to move forward. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that a lot, a lot must be said for the for a person of that type of a character. I mean, and, and I I see that. I see his grind. I see his hustle. I see how hard he worked. I see the respect that he held among the people. And you know what I'm saying? He was a he was a hand down, no brainer. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 an instant fit. You know at that. You know that was that was a unanimous decision. So one time for Trade the Truth. One time for Bob. Strange clouds coming soon. You know what I'm saying. He got his new single popping so good. Stupid. You know what I'm saying. Doing, doing, doing dumb numbers on iTunes right Number now. One on iTunes. As always. Doing dumb numbers. I'm talking about stupid man. Retard numbers. Yeah. On iTunes, man, and uh, and you know, man, we 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 continuing on, man, and you can look out for trouble, man. Trouble, man, coming yeah, soon. Yeah, that was my next man. question. I thought it was. I seen your mind move. How, how soon? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I've always been a strategic type of a person, uh -huh. man. I have to align myself with the best marketing uh, and the best rollout. Mm -hmm. It depends on what's going on in the environment and in our culture at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to align myself with something that's going to add value to my marketing plan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and uh, the music is ready. Okay. Music is there. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. How many albums are you in with uh, left with Atlantic Records? <laughs> What's so funny? He went in. 
Oh, well, tell her. Well, well, why don't you ask the question that you really want to ask? Nah, uh, I got this the last one. It's the last one. This the last one. Unless. Future plans. Unless somebody see fit to back the truck up. Yeah. Beep. Have you beep. had that conversation? Have I had a conversation? I had a couple conversations. I had a few conversations with a lot of very wealthy people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm have, sure I'm not the only one that's however, my decision asked has, that question. However, my issue. decision has not been made. Okay. My decision has not been made. You know, everybody feels like that I already know what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Some people I sit down with feel like, oh, he already know he ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. Some people I sit down with feel like, oh, he already know he's out of here. I have my mind has not been made up. My mind will be made up by the efforts, energies, and actions of the people in power. You know what I'm saying? When the people in power put me in power, that's where I'm going. Um, I appreciate this opportunity to introduce Hustle Gang to the world. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, and the dope mixtape, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't sleep right on that. Get into don't sleep that. on that. Destroying other people's ego, man. On purpose. It's out today. It's out right now. Where Go to it? Every music site on no. the web. Livemixtape.com. All right. Go get it. And that, hey, look. How and that, uh... And that, uh, that high look video, man. You know what I'm saying? That thing now, man. That's a personal favorite of mine. Uh, sure I like that better than Harry Potter. Harry Potter out there too, and I'm in yeah, that. But yeah. I like, I, I personally like that high look better than Harry Potter. Harry Potter's a tough record. For yeah, you yeah, dumb piff heads, we got it on there too. So okay. you know, yeah. Y'all go check it out wherever way, you can check you know. it out. Uh, Chip mixtape on the way. Yeah, man, London boy, we're working on that right now. Uh, Iggy, what's your next move? My single, yeah. My yeah, man, we gonna put her single out, man, in the next, in the next four weeks. You know what I'm saying? We got a smooth, a, a cold blooded record. Yeah. Can you tell me the name? You really, Can I you got. Do I, do I really need to? Um, they call murder business. It's murder business. Okay. It's murder business. <laughs> <laughs> it's murder business. They call murder business, and it's like that. Oh, here's the one. Produced by B Major. B -major. Yeah. yeah. Nice record. Mm -hmm. Um, I appreciate y'all all for coming through. Appreciate you, Good yeah, money to be made. Appreciate that. Y'all know what it is. Hustle gang, baby. Holla at us. G-D-O-D. Get yeah. dough or die, partner. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, and one time for Big Country Kane, he got his mixtape just dropped 100%. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the big homie. One time for Young Dro, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 getting back in, we getting back in the blender, you know what I'm saying? Going in and going off. So, uh, everybody, man, the hustle still intact, man. Regardless of popular, uh, popular belief, you know what I'm saying, contrary to what the folk told you across the street, around the corner, it is a movement, partner. Get door or die. Be easy. Be we in this what? bitch.